Well, I guess with the pre-mission, I guess I would have, I would have hoped that I would have prepared a little bit more because I feel like I knew that I should go on a mission and I knew that it was probably the right thing to do, but I didn't entirely know the whole why behind it. That was kind of the main reason why I went on because I felt part of it was I felt that it was kind of expected because my whole family um, were LDS and um, that was just something that people did and ever since I was in primary. And I always wanted to go on a mission, but I didn't entirely know the whole why behind it. Well, my trainer, the elder that trained me, he would always go up to everybody and tell everybody about the Book of Mormon and he would always say, you can pray about this book and God will give you an answer to it. And now I knew that was true because it had been taught to me and I had kind of prayed about it, but most of when I prayed about it, I was just like, all right, it's true. You know, probably it's true. Everyone else says it's true. And it wasn't until my mission that I really took the promise from Moroni um, in Moroni 10, 4 through 5, 4 and 5, that I really figured out for myself that it was true. I actually did what he said. I knelt down and I prayed about it. And it kind of turned my entire, not only my mission, but my life around. It kind of made me realize that my testimony wasn't built off of this one point where I had this, you know, this spiritual experience. It was built off of everything that had led up to that point. And this was just kind of that, I don't know, like closing the box in a way, like finally actually making it more real and making me realize that I had the testimony. And then ever since then, it was kind of easier to tell everybody, hey, this book is true. Pray about it. You'll get an answer because I did. But it was just this really just very once in a, almost once in a lifetime um, experience. I prayed about it. I kind of just knelt down and I said, Heavenly Father, like, first of all, are you there? And then I said, um, and is this book true? Because I had it with me. I'd gone into my room. My companion was still on the couch studying and I went into my room and I said, and is this book true? Because if it's not true, I, there's no reason for me to be here in Germany. It'd be really pointless. And just this, um, I felt like up until this point, my mind had kind of been a little bit foggy. It was almost like there was nothing that I'd really concentrate on or anything. I was just kind of going through the motions. And after I'd asked that question, there was just, everything became incredibly acute. Everything was very defined and all my senses I felt like were almost heightened in a way. And then just this, this thought, it was just, yes, like, you know, it, it wasn't like a voice that said, you know, like I know some people probably had that, but for me it was just, it was almost like someone had like opened my brain and like put it in. It's like, now you have it, like now you know. And then just this overwhelming feeling of love, just almost like, as they say, kind of like a warm blanket like this. And I just knew that my Heavenly Father loved me and he was, you know, wanting to tell me this. And it was just, wow, I almost cried, like tears were coming to my eyes. And I was like, oh, like, it was just amazing. It was so much so that even when I tell you about it right now, I'm just like, like kind of almost getting the same feeling because I just remember how much it meant to me, how much, how real it felt and yeah.